Hey guys, welcome back to my disaster. Yeah, it's just a mess in here, Will. It's, it's gonna be out of here soon. I told you, I'd show you the new truck. Let's do this. Our 2011 Raptor. Yeah. Well, there she is. The old 6.2 Raptor. A little dirty right now from the salt and the roads. And uh, still trying to figure out what my one daughter rode on it with. But it's like, it's kind of like sticky grease. I don't know how she got that on there. A 2011 Raptor. 6.2 liter. We are the second owners. And she only had 50, well, just under 56,000 miles when we left the dealership with it. Got a couple little things done to it, nothing major. Nothing excessive either. But she is just a base model Raptor from the ear. A little messy right now from the kids. So you're just a regular radio, black leather. Pretty nice. Start with the outside first. And we're going the inside. So starting up front. Rigid Industries pods. I still need to take this one off, clean it out, put some RTV around it to seal it because it's getting moisture inside. That's from the pressure washer. Still kicking myself for that. And those were on, those were on it when we bought it, along with these little LED strips, which I'm not the biggest fan of how they look in the daytime. It's kind of like a little chrome piece on there, and I, I hate chrome. But at night, they look really good. As silver Ford, or the silver decal over the grill. Stock 17s. Uh, it had uh, KO2s on it when we bought it. Factory size. Boy, I hate the KO2s, and they were a little choppy anywhere from the alignment being out. So I got some Ridge Grapplers, still factory size. Front suspension's been replaced. We have the King. Uh, we have the King front suspension on it. It's actually really nice and rides really good. Uh, rears is the factory Fox. They're a little oxidized just from the over the years. He is nine years old in a Pennsylvania truck, but there's just pretty much no rust on the entire truck. Uh, L smoked LED tail lights. This Raptor actually lights up when you turn the lights on, so it glows red. Got a little soft tonneau cover. It has Magnaflow exhaust on it. Just the muffler back, though, so we still had the resonator, which I don't mind too much because it does sound really good. Fed a tenant with 15% Lumar ceramic. Uh, the little SVT vents, these are aftermarket. These light up amber at night. Shorty antenna. Still pretty much stock looking truck that is an absolute monster. Inside, when we bought it, I'm gonna close the door, it's cold. When we bought it, it had a Sony double den in it with some Kenwood speakers and tweeters. I took all that out and thankfully it came with the factory radio and the factory speakers. So the day we came home with it, I put everything back to stock. I added the trailer brake into it because we do tow a little bit with it. 
Got my SCT live wire. I don't have the key with me, it's still inside. Uh, performance wise, just the Magnaflow exhaust, the live wire, and JLT intake. I'm very happy with the truck, with how everything is on it. it is absolutely amazing. It rides great. I'll see the gas mileage sucks because it's a 6.2 135s. But I think we, uh, when we're going to and from Maryland, which is 250 miles each way, uh, we're averaging between 13 and 15, which it's not bad. It's about the same as we were getting with the Suburban, but it has a lot bigger tank. The Suburban had a 31 gallon tank. The Raptor has a 36 gallon tank. I haven't really pushed the truck hard because it is our daily. It's our only vehicle right now from where my Mazda sold down. I sold the Interceptor. Uh, I do have two other vehicles at my buddy's house in Maryland. One of them is a 2003 Sonoma, which was going to be a drag project, which was going to be a drag project, but that might end up being my daily. I need to get it tagged. And then uh, summertime, once I get my Mazda going again, I'll start working on that. But I need to get my 331 finished before I start working on the Sonoma. So that's well and old right now. Uh, for the snow, I think the only thing I need to do is get a new battery for it and then get it tagged and she'll be on the road. But that's going to be for this one, guys. I hope you like the Raptor. I want to be another vehicle. Uh, we should be doing a little bit of off-road stuff with that, hopefully. Uh, I just can't risk breaking that right now with, our, with it being our only vehicle and we do have three kids. So that has to, <laughs> that has to stay on the road. But that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. See you in the next one.